Good afternoon. My name is Holly Miller with Country Road Crafts and today we are going to work on a birdhouse and I'm going to paint it with milk paint. And what I'm going to do, if I can get my computer to stop acting like cuckoo right now. Give me a second guys. Okay, so hopefully that's working. Okay, so again, my name is Holly Miller and I'm with Country Rug Crafts and tonight I'm going to paint a birdhouse with fusion mineral or fusion milk paint, milk paint by fusion. I'm going to do it in a way so I'm going to try to make it um, a little bit rustic, a little bit looks like patina. I'm going to try. So we'll see how far we get with this. So I have put markings on it because there's things that I want to do to it. So just to get an idea of what I want to do, I just put marks on it. So hopefully it turns out the way my brain's thinking it's going to. Um, I sanded it earlier. I just took a piece of uh, sandpaper and just, just get the loose edges off. I want this to be a little rustic so I didn't go a whole lot on cleaning it because I wanted to have a little a couple little spots and also when I'm doing milk paint if you don't want paint to stick to the spots you could add wax so fusion has a wax block uh, beeswax block you can use um, beeswax from anywhere and just rub it on the edges where you don't want the paint to here I'm sorry and uh, it will not stick to that so I'm just going to put a little bit of beeswax around it just so it won't stick in certain places leave it a little rustic so I'm going to mix up the milk paint I'm going to do a finish so it's um it's called uh chipped so I'm going to do a two paint to one water ratio so I'm going to put actually four tablespoons to two tablespoons of water. Hopefully I have four tablespoons in here. Actually, I have that. I think there's four in there. Okay, and I'm not sure how to get the, oh, there we are. Hey, Estelle, I can see you guys now. I couldn't see the comments a second ago. I'm still, I'm using uh, Facebook and I'm a little, it's a little different for me. So thank you, Liz, for sparkling. Okay, so I poured it all in. I think that was enough. So what I'm going to do now is add water, two to one. Oops. I'm just going to take my uh, whisk. This is my paint whisk. I'm just going to stir it up. And just uh, stir it enough to get the chunks out of it and mix it up good. And as I'm looking in here, I think it needs a little more, just a touch more water. I'm going to add just a touch more. Yeah, that looks, I don't know if you guys can see that. Actually, it still looks a little chunky. Just a little more. I'll make it too thin here in a minute. 
Thanks. It's called um, Ampha Coast. I don't know if you can see that. Is it going to? Don't know if it's going to focus on it for you guys. There you go. I'll post it in the comments. It was the color of the week um, a few weeks back, and um, the color is inspired by the Mediterranean, so I, I like this color. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I could brush this on, but what I'm thinking about doing is just putting it on with a spatula because I want it to give a little, I don't want it to be uniform. So I'm kind of just gonna wipe it on. So I'm just gonna do it like this today. This is what I'm doing. Cause I want it to leave, I want it to be kind of thin. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. I want it to be kind of thin, but I want it to be I want it to be chunky on the thing, so. And the paintbrush, I never get enough on it. And I want to make the piece, my brain saying, I want to make it kind of um, patinaed. So I'm going to put the milk paint on it first. Then I'm going to dry it real, real fast with my um, heat gun, my husband's heat gun. If I don't burn myself. You guys can already see the where it's already drying because I did it. I'm doing it kind of thick. You can already see it drying. You can see how the look at that. See how it's kind of crackled. But before it dries all the way, I'm going to put the heat gun on. So forgive the loud noise. This one's loud. If I figure it out, there we go. I'm just going to dry it real quick. In the places where it's kind of not got a lot of um, the color on it, it's because I put that wax down on top of it. Why am I blinking? Because it's too much in the hoard. <laughs> I'm going to blow a breaker. I put too much plate in my power cord. So you guys see it adds a little bit more texture. See how that worked? Okay, so I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do this side the same way. Just add a little bit of, I'm just gonna put it on with the spatula kind of thick. And again, the reason I'm doing with the spatula because I just wanna, uh, I don't want a uniform look. I just want it to be kind of, kind of there. And I painted it on my, I have a video out there where I painted it on. Um, and it, you can paint it on. But this is just what I wanted to do today. I wanted to do something a little bit different. So, just going to put it on kind of, try to get the edges down here. And this could be used as a Mother's Day gift. I like doing birdhouses. I don't know why. Crazy on a birdhouse these days. This is about the fourth or fifth one I've done. Don't know if this one's going to go outside. I have one to go outside. The other ones are just on my shelf. But if you seal it with a top coat, which I'm not going to tonight, but if you seal it with the top coat, you can put it outside. This one here, I think I got this from um, Dollar Tree. The, it was $5 at the Dollar Tree in their special. And I don't know if everybody's Dollar Tree has a special $5 section. But ours up here in Jacksonville, not the one in Saints Ferry, but the one in Jacksonville, North Carolina, actually has a $5 section. But don't go looking for trees because I already got, I mean, not trees. Don't go looking for my birdhouses because I already got them all. So... <laughs> I have about four more in a box up in storage so I can play with them because I love, for whatever reason, a birdhouse. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna before this dry, side dries, I'm gonna do the um. Let me try to plug this in. Mm -hmm. If I can get in there. Okay. Let's try it this way. If I blow a circuit out the heart, sorry guys. Just trying to dry it fast so it does. Before it dries, actually, 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 I forgot to tell you guys something. I have, um, these are stamps from IOD, and it's for the Rustic Barn. Um, I think it's called Barn Wood. So this, I'm going to sand it real quick because this is the first time I opened it up. Just sand it just a little, give it a quick sand. And I'm going to put some uh, fake wood lines in this. I'm take it off here. I don't know if it's going to work now since I dried it most of the way. I've already dried it too far. All right. Well, the next one, yeah, this is already dry. I think it's where I put the. The um, wax. I'm gonna do this bottom edge real quick. And then this look, I wanted to peel off a little bit, so um, I might even go back and sand it just a minute to get some stuff on there to make it look old. Um, but if you guys look on my videos, I have. I just put one up today for the um, yellow uh, side table with the blue flowers on it. That's milk paint. Believe it or not, it's milk paint. And I didn't think milk paint could look like that, but it's beautiful. I thought it was always chippy look and always the um, old look. But I, I mixed that one to one on the video and it's milk paint. And that one I sealed with a uh, tough coat. I just put it out there on um, I don't think I've got it up on Facebook yet. It's on YouTube, and uh, I think that might be the only place I've put it so far. It might be just on YouTube right now. Because I'm trying to create a reel, and my computer's giving me grief. Still trying to learn all this stuff. So... So if you don't want the chippy look that I'm giving here, you here today, then you would mix the you would mix the um, milk paint up to a one to one ratio. If you want it to be like a white wash or a blue wash or whatever color wash you want, you mix it two waters to one scoop of milk paint. Two parts water, one part milk paint. So that gives it a little. I don't know what that means. I'm getting notices from. Is that what it's called? A Dollar Tree Plus? I don't know. It's called Dollar Tree. There ain't no plus on anything up there. But it's Jacksonville. It just says Dollar Tree. But I love that section. I think Frank has to limit me every time we go. Because I come out there with the buggies full of stuff. You guys are getting through. Y'all guys are uh, getting me through all my um, projects. <laughs> Doing these lives is getting them, checking off my list on projects, stuff to try. So, so see the chippy look there. And I'm actually going to dry a little more. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I am not going to put it above that because I'm going to do something else with that. So I am just going to put it underneath that line right there. And I'm being kind of messy with it because I wanted to give it a not uniform look. And if you ask my husband, he would say I'm always messy. So it's life. So I'm kind of just using the spatula just to spread it around kind of thick. I never get enough on the brushes when I use them. I use a chip brush usually. Like I said, I've used it in a lab, so they work. I just, today I just want to do something different. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Sorry. Okay, you guys see how it's coming along with the paint? Little chippy, little peely look. This is actually peely. I'm going to wipe it down because that's how I mix the paint. And then right here where it's not sticking, that's where I put the, um, the wax so it doesn't stick. So it's supposed to be like that. I meant for it to be like that because there's something else I want to put there. So, so I didn't forget. I did, I did. I didn't forget this time. Usually I forget and just... <laughs> Leave me alone. So, okay, so I'm going to try this again. Dry it quick with the um, heat gun. You see where it's sort of coming off right there, where I use the... Um, Beeswax. My spatula. I love you too, my husband. So here. I'm gonna try to get this the way I want it. I'm trying, I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use some brown in the cracks to make it look a little rustic. So I'm gonna try to just get it, you know, just some color on the, but I'm not trying to be real particular with it, just trying to get it on there because the actual look is a layered look. So I have to create layers first. So you guys can see what I'm doing if I can hold it underneath the thing. <laughs> no, Liz, my forgetfulness is a lot more. Hey, Rob. So my forgetfulness is a lot more. I have to have notes and, and, and lists. I've always had problems with remembering stuff. Um, it's just life. It always has been this way. And everybody goes, do you remember when? Um, no, I don't remember when. And I have my notes over here for what I'm supposed to talk about. <laughs> my brain. Okay. And see how I just kind of you know, if you want in the cracks, you can paint in the cracks if you want. Maybe just a little to give it a little bit. Milk paint dries kind of fast too. Um, if it dries too fast, if you want, um, actually, I think I'm going to do this. I've got a spritzer, a mister, so you can just mist a little bit of paint or a little bit of water on top and just let it. Go down the cracks a little bit. 
if you want to do that. So I'm just going to take my finger and just, because I don't want to leave any wood spaces because my brain says that's what I got to do. And I wet it. You can re um, activate it if you wet it. That's why you got to seal it before you put it outside because all the stuff will wash off if it's not set. So you guys see what I just did? And my hands are probably covered in. So I'm going to do the other side. So this side's already dried. You guys see if it's already dried. So I'm going to take the little mister, reactivate the paint, and I'm just going to run my fingers like that, just so it gets it covered a little because I don't want any wood showing on the top. I want it to be kind of like a, a I'm going to do like a car, copper roof. All right. And I forgot down there. So I'm going to make sure. See, I did forget this. <laughs> I am starting to go live every Friday at 6.30 on Facebook, um, Eastern Standard Time. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I've did it for a couple of weeks now. So, and I have projects planned the next few, well, at least in this next quarter. So I will be here. Next week, I'm going to do a Mother's Day um, gift. I'm going to do a decoupage flower pot. So I'm kind of excited about that. I got to go find a flower pot. My decoupage paper came in today. I'm a, um, I retail um, recycle uh, decoupage tissue. And my order came in today. I'm a little excited. I haven't even opened it yet because I had to get through this. And if I opened it, I would not be getting through this. So you guys see the rustic look on that? I don't know if you guys can see. I left that like that on purpose. So, But I didn't mean to leave this like this so I'm gonna to try to get some up in there okay okay you guys see that I think I'm done with that. And you can see I've left some places open. You can see the texture. And if it's too much, just spritz it. You can wipe it back. If it's not enough, you can add more. It only takes about 15 minutes for it to dry. But I dried it with the heat gun, so it dried quicker than that. And see, not even. And right here is where I use, you know, the places that it's light is where I use the um, the beeswax. So, okay. So, now what I want to do is I want to add some foil adhesive because I'm going to put some foil on this thing. I did foiled eggs last Saturday night and they turned out wonderful. So, I'm like, and look guys, I cleaned the lid. Did you see how quick I opened that? Did you see that? I didn't have to beg Frank to open it for me. Or ask him or bug him. But look, 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 look. I cleaned the lid. <laughs> so if you guys seen that little line or that little video I did, I did clean the lid. <laughs> Making a mess. Okay, so with this, I'm just going to spread some foil adhesive on the white spots right here. The wood spots, is that's what I want to do right there. Oh, goodness. And I also got the email from um, the local um, craft studio. It's called Design Wine and Design. Um, they invited me up a few months ago to do, or us, not just me, me and Frank, up to do a patina class. So um, I think I can do a patina class. I'm going to be able to do a patina class because I'm excited and I like doing patina. And 
I took a class with Roy Cycle for Patina and it actually helped. So we learned a little bit more different things. Do you guys see any other places where it might be good to put some of that um, foil? So, okay. So that has to sit at least 15 minutes um, so I can do the foil. So I'm going to move on. I got... I did a mold with IOD. You guys see that? With IOD, um, I think it's called molds. And I put a little bit of soft um, clay in there, if I can think of the words. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bird. I'm going to put him right there. I think. What do you guys think? And I'm going to put him on. I'll put him right here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hmm. I was going to put him right there, but I put paint or a piece of paper. Maybe right there. What do y'all think? Right there? I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put, I have this in my hand because I didn't pull out my uh, glue gun. So I'm just going to put some of this in there. And it's just adhesive. It might be a lot for what I'm trying to do here, but it's what I'm going to do. Get enough in this one. And I'm going to put a couple blobs of it. So that's what I want to do. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take um, a fusion mineral paint. This is called uh, French eggshell. You guys see that? Just to put some highlights on this. So I am going to grab a paintbrush. Just going to grab a little paintbrush. And I am going to just touch around and just make some different I'm just going to smooth that because I like I like to paint my hands. I'm sorry. I like getting painted. Look, this is normal. And I'm just going to put it in, give it a little bit of darker areas. Just to kind of, you know. Give it a little bit of depth. I just bought my set first set of IOD molds and I'm not quite sure how to use them. So I actually, it said 24 to 48 hours and I've had them in the little molds for 24 hours, but, and I set them out in a hot North Carolina sun thinking that might help, but out of like eight, that one there was the only one that turned out yet. I'm sure there's going to be more. I just couldn't get it to work. Oh, looky there. I stamped that with um, those stamps, the IOD stamps, and look, you see what it created right there. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get a brown wax and put that in there. Oh, it's in the Thanks, Liz. I 
I don't know how to share it to other groups while I'm live, so I will have to wait until I get it downloaded and share it because I, I don't know how to I don't know how to do that. Still learning all this. I'm new on all the different sites and stuff. You guys see all the different textures and that is cool. Let's see. I got, I got, Rob, look, I got some copper and I got the bronze, which they're, they're a mess because I like using them. But yes, that was the next color I was going to use. But I had to put some darker color to kind of give a little distress look. And you see right there where the paint's coming up, that's where I use the um, wax. So anywhere you want the wax not to hear, or I'm sorry, the paint not to hear, you put wax underneath it and it'll make it look like, you could even put, like I could have put paint underneath it and then wax it and then put some kind of paint on top of it and it would show the bottom layer of paint. So that's kind of cool too. Okay. So. Gonna wipe this off. Wipe off my hands for a little bit. Okay. And see this one here? I did not, I did not clean the lid well and because I like using this a lot and I see that's why I have to remind myself daily to clean the lids because I'm terrible. Um Frank can you help me? I need, I'm trying to open the paint and I can't because I didn't clean the lid. Aha! There we go. Look, 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 look. Look at all the nastiness You're I did. A what? So I've got some uh, metallic fusion metal paint metallics, copper. So I'm just going to put it around it and just, I'm going to, just going to put a little bit, I'm just going to smear around because that's what I want. This is the look I'm like. I also got bronze and I will put some bronze on it in a second. Um, but I want to get some metallic copper in the cracks. And again, I'm not painting it on because I just want it in splotches. You can use a brush to do this with. Like I said, I'm just trying something different. And see, that is too much for me. I'm going to wipe it back. Okay, you guys see how that's looking? I'm going to put a little bit here. A little bit over here, just just splish splash it. Nothing particular. Get a little bit of it there. Get a little bit. You guys see how that's looking? Okay, have you seen it? I am learning the IOD products. I've not used a whole lot except the transfers. I love their transfers. And this is metallic um, bronze. And I like the copper and the bronze together. I, I, I just do. I 
I did. I banged it on the table. My husband came and thought I was, what, what in the world were you doing? <laughs> I got the jar open. Barely. But he came to my rescue. Ugh. Okay. Probably should have put an apron on because I make a mess with this stuff. Okay, so that side, I think that's where I want it. I'm gonna flip it over. Until these dry, I'm not gonna paint those. So I'll come back and get those later. Just gonna a little color. And I put too much on there, so I'm just gonna wipe it back. And see where it's lifting right there? That's where I'd put wax. So the paint's not gonna to adhere to the wood. Hang on a second, I'm gonna get a piece, another piece of um, tissue. I'm actually gonna spritz a little on it because I don't want to put too much water, but I do want a little bit of water to lift that up a little bit. The milk paint is easy to work with. You make a mistake, spritz it, wipe it off, start all over. And I touched my, I got my tissue in my little thing so you don't see the rivets anymore. It just kind of splat. That's okay. Oops. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it over and catch this up. I'm just going to. Thank you. And actually, this year I'm going to spritz because it's a lot. Okay. And I just spritz water on it just to get a little bit of it up. And it's okay because I want it to look kind of old and drippy. So you guys can see spritzing the paint. If I would have picked it up a little bit, it would have made it look more, a little more drippier. So. And then my metallic bronze is a little thick because it's it's drying up. But I still can use it. Um, I have extender I can put in there. I like it kind of thick a little bit because it actually I can control it a little easier when I'm doing stuff like this. And this is what I use the bronze for mostly is to help me add texture to the piece. I could also use my sponge, but I don't want to today. And I just touched another one of those things. <laughs> you guys can see what's going on there. Sorry guys, I'm thinking and my brain's working so I don't talk a lot when it's happening. Forgive me.
here's another one of the the you guys see that it's just another I do it in the paint Let's see if I can do it on the bronze Maybe a little bit. <laughs> You're enjoying watching me think. You're enjoying me watching me think because my brain, I'm not talking a lot because I'm trying to think stuff through. I love this colors together. I use a lot of metallic copper. It looks great on everything, I think. See how that's looking? And I'm adding a different layers and a different colors that bring out the texture. I like texture and stuff. Um, sometimes, and I, I use my sponge a lot to bring out the texture and stuff because I just absolutely love my sponge. Oops, sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get up in that crack right there with a little bit of the metallic because it's kind of naked up in there. You guys see what I'm doing? So, what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of the metallic to the top of it. So, I am just going to Scrape a little on. Oops, I touched the adhesive, so it's sticking to my fingers. You see what's going on there? For the copper, I'm going to add the bronze to it just to give it a little more. I don't think I'm going to be able to paint the bird tonight. I'm probably just going to um, paint copper on top of it and then try to layer it in the blue. But it's still wet, and if I touch it, it's going to fall off. So I didn't think that through. <laughs> Story of my life, right? <laughs> it's okay. Whatever reason, I like the bronze and the copper together. Okay, so you guys can see. My blob where I had the um, dots are gone and then the bird I'm going to have to paint later because it's going to fall off if I paint it. So those two things I'll have to show you guys later. But it has been 15 minutes and I am going to put on the, um, the foil. So just like Saturday night, if you guys are with me, I foiled the eggs, which was fun. I am going to actually foil this. Let me turn it around so I can get to it. So I've got put adhesive down earlier, and you have to wait for the adhesive to 
dry a little bit and then I'm just going to put the foil down. I'm going to rub it on and then I'm going to take a, a brush, a little, uh, this is a nail brush. Let me just brush it so it goes on. Brush off the excess. I'm just gonna put a little more on. And normally I'm a little more careful on where the adhesive goes. I mean the um, foil goes, but tonight I just want it to be. I want it to be rustic, so I don't want any grime or reason to it. So. Same thing, just rub it on the adhesive. I may have to go back and add more adhesive. Just like last week, I had to add adhesive to places that I missed. I put this on light, so I'm, I may be going back. And you can put it on. I try not to overlap it, but uh, I think I want a little more uh, foil on the on the edge. And I put some right there in the cracks right here. So I'm going to get this all the way up in the crack, and I'm going to just do the same thing. I think the name of this foil is Weathered Copper, I think, or Weathered Bronze, maybe. right there. See that I have to go back and put some more adhesive on because I did not put enough on it. I have to go back and do it again. Actually, I'm just going to take my finger. So uh, you guys think I should put some foil on the top? I think I am going to put like not in the cracks per se, but just just a little, just to get a little bit to pull it all together. And of course, I'll have to wait 15 minutes or thereabouts for the um. I'll put some right there for the. The adhesive to dry enough to put the foil down. 
and I'll put the links for the products in my um oh you guys if you didn't see my live on Saturday night last week with the eggs the foil I love it I did, I was having issues with the foil and then I played with it and I figured it out so I I love the foil you'll see more projects with the foil I got an awesome uh, Memorial Day project I'm working on um so with the foil Well, actually, with a couple of different things, I'm going to use stencils. I'm going to use uh, foil. I'm going to use cutouts. Yeah, it's going to be cool for Memorial Day. But um, it's going to be like um, a couple weeks. Like next week's the decoupage. Okay. So that's enough for the adhesive. It's going to take 15 minutes, so it's going to be a few more minutes for that. I did not clean this up, but I will before I shut the lid tight. Hopefully I remember that. And the bird actually might be might be enough. Put a little bit on his head. Because he's a little floppy on his head. No floppy bird, Nick. So with him, hmm, I don't know what I want to do with him. I'm going to add a little bit more paint here. Because I forgot that right there. And I don't want to put foil in the crack like that. Do him in the dark. Do my bird in the dark. It's um the color itself is called um uh eggshell, French eggshell. drying with the heat gun. Hopefully it doesn't melt. Colors lifting on my hands. Okay. I don't think I'm going to put copper on him. I think I just want to put bronze. This blue is French. Fiction. It's a popular color. It's kind of um, bluish green. that okay so I'm painting on copper
It's not doing what I want it to do, but it's okay. Okay. I am waiting for the um, foil adhesive to dry a little so I can put the, it takes 15 minutes and you can use it with the foil itself. If you use it too early, it won't stick right. So, and sometimes I let it sit overnight and because I forgot about the project usually. <laughs> um, what did I say? Something about. Oh, I had a transfer I was going to put on here, but I decided against it. So, because um, it was too much going on, I felt. Um, but I was looking at flowers, putting flowers on the side. And I still might go back. But I'm thinking I like how it looks now. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have suggestions or any ideas other than finishing up the adhesive. Thank you guys for watching and supporting. Appreciate that. I'm trying to get on here and do this every week. I do too, Estelle. I love rustic everything. I have to convince my husband to take my mailbox down so I can paint it rustic. We live on the uh, coastal North Carolina. <laughs> I want to patina our white mailbox, but I haven't quite convinced him yet. I'm wearing him down, though. I'm wearing him down. One of these days, he's going to come home, and I'm already going to have it done. <laughs> That's usually how things go. Um, I got glue on and paint all over my hands. And once I finish with everything and seal it or finish it and it dries, I'm going to seal it with top coat. Let's see. Let's see if this piece is going to stick. I don't know. I think it's been about 15 minutes. About. I didn't time it. My baby. Yes, to tack up, that's the word. This Saturday night, I'm not going to be able to do it. But I might, I might do one Sunday, I don't know. This Saturday night, I'm not going to be able to do it live. We have plans, we're going on a date. It's kind of exciting. And I have some videos I'm working on that I did some paint stuff with and I just need to edit them to get them up. Or basically pull them off another format like my video camera or 
the other phone or the other computer or, you know, once I get all those downloaded and cropped for the right thing, I'll upload them so you guys to look at. I'm hoping to do that this weekend at some point. I don't know if it's going to happen. I've been trying to get that yellow um, side table done forever. I did that one a while ago. Having issues. I'm going to try to fix a little bit on the roof. So I'm just going to brush down it because some of it came off without the adhesive. So I'm just going to flatten it down. How about that? Because I just wanted on a little bit. Of, there's a little sticky down there. Unlike the eggs, I wanted the eggs covered. I don't want these to be, I don't want the roof to be covered. I just want it to be a little squashy. going to go outside or not. I like <laughs> I have a whole shelf of bird houses. Okay. That's all of it on that side. So I'm going to brush it down just to get the excess off. I'm trying to get birds to go to the garden because last year we had issues with the uh, caterpillars. Oh my gosh, they drove me crazy. So I'm trying to encourage birds, but these are too pretty to be putting out in my garden. I love my garden. We're going to start it next week, I think. I did a couple of birdhouses on lives. I did Bayberry one with fusion mineral paint, and then I did a I want to say it was oyster bar. I think it's the color. Was it was um, milk paint? It was the oyster bar.
I just felt some sticky right there, so I don't have to throw the hat and touch it up. So I'm just trying to take the excess, um, the excess um, foil off, just because I, I that's what I'm going to do. Just to give a little bit, give a little bit of bling. right there. What do you guys think? I'm going to get um, brown wax and I think I'm going to put some in the cracks on the top. Give me one second. Because I cleaned my office today and I moved stuff away, away from my desk and So I'm going to use espresso wax. Again, I'm just going to use my finger. So it's just wax from Fusion Mineral Paint. Ooh, if you see it. And I'm just going to put, put it in a crack and I can wipe it back. And I may add this all over because I'm starting to like how it, it makes it look a little dingy. So I think that's what I'm going to do all the way around. And I'm going to wipe it back. I'm starting to absolutely love it too. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it turned out nice. espresso wax on here and you can see the um the uh different stuff will be popping up that's the key i think i put i'm gonna grab my he's my foil again and you guys can see how that wax fills in the holes and i wipe it back it takes it off the top See how it's looking. 
Yep, that needs foil right there because it's sticking to my fingers. And it's okay if it pulled it up like that because what's going to happen is that's just, you know, how the paint chips away and these holes in it, that's going to be perfectly fine because this is a rustic look and that's what I'm going for. I'm not using a transfer, Shelly. This is foil and i had to put down uh foil adhesive we waited 15 minutes and um then you just raise it up and you got foil underneath it so it's just like um just a foil i ordered it actually i think i got that one for 44 marketplace but also i get them from um the artistic paint studio online she um she has a website. Um, I will put it in both in the uh, comments. But this is foil. I was going to use a transfer, and I don't know which one I cut it from, but I decided against it because I wanted to do all the different textures on it. So, I'm going to add some more and I'm going to wipe it back. I want to show all the little bumps I created with uh, by drying the milk paint fast with the with the um, heat gun. You can see all the texture now with the dark colors. So that's what I'm doing. The hole right there is probably where I put the wax. And that's okay. Like I said, we're going for that rustic, crusty look, even though it was a brand new piece of wood. Uh, just trying to add a little texture to the, the different shapes and stuff coming out. And where that chipped, and that's okay. And this is where I put the um, wax. And I've got, I got paint all my nails. <laughs> and that's okay too. Did a wash off. So right now I'm adding the brown um, wax and I'm wiping it back because I don't want it to be in, everywhere. I just wanted to try to feel in the cracks with it, give it a little texture. So this is where the glue is. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm not gonna fill that in, but after I after the glue dries, I'm gonna build it up to make it look like rivets. But I can't do that right now because the glue is not dry yet. I'm not sure about this bird. Not what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> or maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. I have to practice with uh, molds a little. I'm not even sure what kind of... I don't want to use um, resin because it's expensive. But I'm not sure what everybody else uses for the molds.
some more brown. I also have um, copper wax, but I didn't want to use the copper wax. I could have. Fusion Mineral Paint has copper wax. Just died. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, I think that's it for the night, guys. Hello. How are you? Can you hear my puppies? It's Finn. He's my guard dog. You guys can see. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at myself. Not paying attention to you guys. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do tonight. So you guys can see all the texture in it. And I did most of the texture with um, the Milk Paint by Fusion. I put it two to one um, water to paint. I'm sorry, two paint, one water to make it kind of chippy look. And then I dried it quick with a heat gun. Then I put some foil on it. See all the different, the different stuff on it. I put the foil, I put some metallic, I put bronze and copper metallic on it. Some places chipped out where I put the, um, thank you, Betty. I put a wax, uh, beeswax on it underneath where I started, so it, it actually chipped out some spots. So you see the paint's not adhering to it. That's where I put the beeswax. Um, put a bird on the front, not sure if I like it. But he's okay. And then my foil to give it a little bit of bling. And I love the light shining on it. And a little bit to give it a tin roof. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging with me. And uh, check out Country Road Crafts NC on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and on YouTube. And uh, you guys can see other projects that we've worked on. Um, I will be here again next Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be working on a uh, decoupage flower pot for Mother's Day. If you have any questions, if you leave them in the comments, I'll come back and answer them. Um, other than that, thanks and have a great day. <laughs>